What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. Let's get straight into talking about 90 Day Fiance. This is season eight, episode 16, and the title of this episode is Second Guessing. Before we get started on talking all about Jovi and Yara, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up for me. Share with a friend who also loves watching 90 Day Fiance. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and hit that bell, or what, how did I flip that? So share, subscribe, plus hit that bell, so you'll be notified on the next time that I make an upload for all the videos that will be coming out this week. Uh, so let's go ahead and get straight into talking about this couple here. Oh, okay, so Jovi says that he is going to try to understand what Yara needs what makes her happy and he you know just wants to pay more attention to her after she has shared with him that she feels second to his friend she doesn't feel like a priority and so Yara says that she feels like Jovi heard her when she shared her heart with him the night prior so because of that she wants to proceed with marrying Jovi now in this scene Jovi Yara and his friends do a bit of gambling to which Jovi lost as soon as Yara told him to win so that he could buy her a Gucci bag. Am I the only one that noticed that? <laughs> Am I the only one that noticed that? Because she showed up late. You know, so as soon as she gets there, she's like, I don't understand how you play this. And so he's sharing it with her. And she's like, good, win, win. So you could buy me a Gucci bag, Gucci bag. And then he just lost everything. As soon as she said that, I thought that was freaking hilarious. Now, Kaz pokes at Yara because she isn't drinking and wants water, to which Yara tells him that she'll live longer than him because she lives a healthier lifestyle. They then move over to Jovi, Yara, and his mom. In the next scene, they are going shopping for wedding rings. And Jovi wants to buy a cheaper ring. And his mom chimes in saying that she doesn't understand why he wants to buy a cheap one. Okay. She's like, this ring is going to be forever. I mean, we would hope so, but we don't know. By the way, things have been rolling and going in this relationship. We don't know if this is going to be a forever thing, but you know, she's telling her son, you know, this, he wants, it's like, it looks almost like this little ring that I'm wearing here that she's looking at. And they're running about like 1200, 1400, I think. And he's like complaining about the price. You know, I thought Jovi had a great job. You know, he was doing pretty good for himself. The fact that, you know, he was tripping like that, I was just like, I, I didn't I didn't get it. But yeah, anyway, so he's like complaining about the rings and stuff and trying to be cheap. And again, his mom chimes in saying that, you know, she doesn't understand why he's being so cheap. So Jovi says that a ring doesn't mean anything to him. Yeah, we can tell. But if Yara wants it, he'll do it to make her happy. So Jovi gets a titanium ring for himself and picked that ring in like 2.5 seconds. Like he wasted no time picking a ring. He's like, yeah, I'll take it. The man's like, unless you want some, he's like, no, I'll take that one. It was a titanium ring. During, uh, during Yara and Jovi's confessional, Yara says, we're finally getting married. And when Jovi just like stares off into space, like, and his reply is like, yeah. I was like, dang, like, that's not a good feeling. As a woman, that wouldn't really feel good to me and it wouldn't sit right with me if I'm like excited and I look over to my fiance and I'm like, wow, we're finally getting married. And he's like, yeah. Like, do you not want to get married? I would have been like, I don't know. I feel like I would have chucked the deuces. That's a slap in the face for real, for real. When he does that, he's like responds. Yeah. And like looks off into space. She's like, um, why are you so sad about that? It just had her looking mad dumb. It really did. It had her looking dumb. I just feel like you wouldn't be embarrassing me like that on national television. If I want to know from you, are you excited that we're finally getting married and you give me that response? Mm -mm. Uh, uh. If you don't want to marry me, I'll gladly go back home. If I was her, I would gladly go back home and raise my baby the right way so my baby wouldn't be brought up with a figure like you until you could get yourself together. I'd go back home, raise my baby, have the support system of my family and friends, and just focus on being a good mom. So moving on, in another scene, they move on to Jovi, his father, and friend Klein are getting last-minute tucks you know, a tux for him to rent. And his father tells the camera crew that he loves his son to death, but never thought he'd see the day 
where he see his son in a tux or even getting married. Now they're still skeptical and in disbelief, okay? So the lady who worked there, uh, the lady that worked there, too chatty, you too chatty, and you can tell that she wanted some camera time, okay? She wanted to be on camera because she was prying and wanting to know things other than his measurements and things that had to do with his tux, okay? Too, like, prying. So what are y'all doing? Um, so is he excited? So what is what is the bride like? Like, none of really all of that is your business. You just need to be focusing on the measurements and telling him how much this tux gonna cost, okay? And the do's and don'ts of renting the tux. So sad thing is that Jovi's friends and parents aren't even confident in Jovi's decision. And his father tells him that it takes two to make a marriage and it's hard work. Jovi says that they've done things fast and Yara has high expectations, which is a lot of pressure on him. It wouldn't be a lot of pressure on you if you were ready. So to me, when you say something like that, somebody putting a lot of pressure on you, that's because you are not ready. And also, you can also not be ready, but still be open to change. And I don't even see that. A willingness, really, to change. Because there have been times where they've had one-on-one -on -one talks with the camera. The example was when they had that little... Uh, I think it was like a wedding shower or something that the mama threw for them with for all the family to come. And when she stepped outside and she was crying and telling him how he was making her feel, old boy knew she was pregnant then, didn't care about her feelings. He was, you know, pissy drunk and he didn't care nothing about her feelings. He stood up there and rolled his eyes, talked his junk, turned around and walked right back into that party to continue drinking and mingling with his family and friends. So my thing is like, it's a difference when somebody say somebody putting pressure on them, but they have a willingness to change and they realize that change needs to happen for the better and for them to be better, a better person overall and a better person for their companion. But Jovi does not have the willingness to change and he's still very immature in my opinion. So I am very curious to see you know, how long is it going to take for Jovi to wake up? It, it's not definitely going to change. Not, he's not going to change with just marrying her and be a changed man. Is having a baby going to wake him up? Or is that going to scare him off even more? Because is he going to use the example or the excuse, I should say, not the example, but the excuse that, you know, having the baby, he's tired and he just needs to go out and have some fun and leave her there taking care of that baby and doing everything by herself. Because see, mamas don't get breaks. Unless you have a supportive family like a mother that doesn't mind coming and get the baby so that you can get some rest or friends that come over and help you out. Moms don't get rest, but the men can so easily help you make the baby. But then when the baby get here and they see all the hard work, they can easily chuck the deuces. And I think that's very unfair. And I see that happening with Jovi again. I guess we're just going to have to wait to see how all this pans out. One thing that'll show us if some change has happened since the baby and since marriage will be the tell-all. We'll get to see if he's made any uh, improvement, right? Um, and if we don't see it there, then we're going to have to wait to see if they come back for another season and if he's changed or if she ends up packing up and going home. Because I think if she's pressed enough to where she's fed up and tired, I can't see her packing her things up and going home. I, I do believe that she would. Just I don't know what's going to be the breaking point for her. I'm not sure. Because at times when I think, you know, when she's crying, she says she just want to go home. I'm thinking, and the way she fuss and chew him out, I'm thinking she probably will go home. But because she just, she says that, and then next thing you know, she's like, well, I do want to marry him. I love him so much. Then it's like, I don't really know what this child is going to do. So again, I'm very curious to hear your thoughts all on uh, 90 Day Fiance. This is season eight, episode 16. And the title of this episode is Second Guessing. We talked all about Yara and Jovi. So comment down below your thoughts on them from this episode. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share with a friend who also loves watching 90 Day Fiance. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified on all of the videos that I will be dropping this week. Again, I appreciate all of you for your 
continuous support and your patience with me as I roll these videos out. And again, thank you so very much. And I look forward to talking to you in that comment section down below. Peace.